today we are going to learn a new topic that is getting to know plants. We see different types of plants all around us based on the size and kind of stem. Plants can be divided into herbs, shrubs, trees, creepers and climbers. So let's see what are their properties. Tall and strong plant with a thick stem called trunk are called trees. Smallest than tree and have woody stems are called shrubs. So you can see here, these are the shrubs and these are the trees. You can see that is the tree of Gulmoha that has red flowers. So you can see here, it is an example of shrub. It is smaller than tree but it has woody stems. Small plants with soft stems are called herb. You can see here, this is the plant of Tulsi. It is a herb. Plant with weak stem that needs support to grow straight are called climber. Plant with weak stem that trail on the ground are called creeper. So you can see here, this is an example of climber. You can see here, it has grown from here to there. And he, it has rounded the tree to go, uh, grow itself. So let's see the parts of plant. These are the flowers. These are the leaves. These are the fruits. And this is a stem. And these are the roots of this plant. Shoot systems process occur above the ground. And root systems process occur below the ground. You can see here, yeah, this is the plant and this is the stem of the plant, you can see. And this is the bird of this plant and that is the flower. Oh. You can see here, it. this is the node and when there is space between leaves, it is called internode. Root system. There are two main types of system. Root system, tap root and fibrous root. Tap root system, in the tap root system, a single root called the primary root comes out from the seed. Mango, neem, pine, shisham, pea, carrot, radish, turnip and beetroot are examples of plants with the tap root system. Our second type of root system is fibrous root system. Fibrous roots that grow from the base of the stem. These roots are thin and absolute equal in size. Grass, maize, wheat, onion, sugar, cane and rice are examples of fibrous root system. So you can see here. This is a fibrous root system. Its, its roots are very weak. So let's see functions of roots. Anchoring the plant, absorption of water and nutrients from the soil, preventing soil erosion. So you can see here, this is a plant. It is a plant that um, that name is touch me not plant. When we touch that plant, it um, closes its leaves. Shoot system. All parts of the plant that are above the ground form the shoot system. It includes stem, leaf, flower, fruit, etc. Stem. The stem is very important part of the plant. Functions of a stem. It holds the leaf in position. 
It bears flower, bird leaves and fruits. It conducts water and minerals. Salt. Leaves. Leaves are known as food factories of the plant. They arise from the nodes of the stem and have a characteristic shape and size. Let us learn of parts of leaves. Venlets. Venlets are these. Midrib. Midrib is this. Petiole. This is petiole. Lamina. This is lamina. The arrangement of veins in leaf is termed as venation. Venation are of two types. Parallel and reticulate venation. Parallel venation. Parallel venation has its veins each, uh, parallel to each other. Examples of parallel venation are banana and onion. Reticulate venation. Reticulate venation don't have their veins parallel. Examples of reticulate venation are mango and neem. This is anther. This is filament. This is stalk. And these are the sepals. This is the ovary. This is the style. And this is the stigma. I have made a video of Parts of flowers, you can see the link in the description given below. Pollination For a flower to develop into fruit and form a seed, pollen grain must be transferred from its anther to the stigma. The transfer of pollen grains from an anther to stigma is called pollination. What is pollination actually? This is anther. Anther contain pollen grains. When air comes and pollen grains stick to the stigma. Stigma transfer the pollen grains to the ovary and ovary makes it or a fruit. I hope you understand our video. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching.